It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. Coming up next. Oh, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. yard or two deep here comes a return and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 the KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger a former MVP in this league it's Patrick Mahomes and when you think of Patrick Mahomes you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly you can't just put him into one box no matter how the game proceeds no matter what is needed he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. First play, Mahomes looking to throw it. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Here's second and ten. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stuff the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players, it gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can carry this throughout the game. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Deontay Hardy back deep. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both, and at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They start the drive with Cook. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park.
Here's a second and two now from the 33. They run it again with Cook. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. This second and four. To the air, Allen. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and 10. Now Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Allen. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Here's Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. 
Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and a couple. They go play action. Now Mahomes to the right side. It's Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get the ball down inside the 30. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. And this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. And that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They fumbled the last time they had the football. Fortunate that it only led to a field goal. 3-0 the score as they start first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus 
And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first down, Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, he shifts past him. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Throwing is Allen on third. Now he fires deep for Shakir. That's caught inside the 20. A big play here for Buffalo. 47 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Morris. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. Allen going to throw. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he'll get in! Touchdown, Buffalo! James Cook taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action you. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? 
They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Third and four. Mahomes now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. As they've got it as we resume action. Mahomes open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. But 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now a second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. That is caught. And he will have a Chiefs first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Now Mahomes firing quickly here, and that's complete. And yeah, they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. From the 22 now, here's second down and seven. Throwing now is Mahomes. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Of course the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? We're able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think have running back in their background. Now here's Mahomes. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. 
Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now Mahomes, so just three yards on the completion there. And that will lead to a third and goal. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. In that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they're going to get it. They bring him down to sack back in the 16-yard line. with a sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. A 33-yarder from the left hash. Butker's kick here is good, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And this take it in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And his throw is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Bills on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and nine. On play action. Allen. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Waiting on it will be Richie James. Fielded at the 33. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday to press it a little bit. This might be the case. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. So no gain on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly.
Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 23, this is second and three. Here's Mahomes to throw. But no hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he's down at the 17-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball to come in his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Throwing is Mahomes on third. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. This a 31-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. to the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. 
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Here's a second and eight. To the air, Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Here's Allen on first and 10. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Throw here's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw, it's Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And he's got it inside the ten. They're able to convert on third down sets up a first and goal. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Now Allen. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Allen now looks to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And now we've got a third and goal situation. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun, it's Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Khalil Shakir from six yards away. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And the lead is up to five. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was
was all polished off with a Khalil Shakir touchdown catch. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25 and the Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Rice. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Mahomes now to throw. Connection made on the out route to Valdez Scantling. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They're going to look to throw. Finding room at midfield. And gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Second down and four. They'll look to throw again. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 33. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we've come to halftime at a five-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. with the lead and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 the Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three this offense set to begin the third quarter and Charles if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead and they've got that here that's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. 
Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Hallett. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Mills passing game getting him down the field. They've got another first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Allen from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the goal's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So first and 10 now from the 30. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. That'll bring up four down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. The kick by Bass is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. And I would say that you pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. We'll see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 
15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Look at this, middle of the field, breakaway. And how about the work on the ground to start the drive? Two big-time runs, this one 19 yards and another first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Mahomes now on first down. That'll be caught by Rice. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. On first down, Mahomes. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Well, this offense has already been forced to settle for field goals on their drives earlier, so this is not a welcome sign here. Indeed, it is not, and they certainly hope it's not a sign for the entire game because they know they've got to be able to sustain drives all the way through, pick up those guys rushing the quarterback, and give himself a chance. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Throwing now is Mahomes. Right back to Tony, he's got another one. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. That'll give him eight that time. And that's gonna bring up a fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. And this is just outside the right upright. It's no good, and that will keep the lead at eight. Well, he was three for three to that point, but he couldn't keep the perfect game going. Did someone mention it on the bench and jinx <laughs> Maybe it? Maybe jinx him a little bit. <laughs> well, you doubt it had anything to do with overconfidence, but hey, it's an inexact science. These things do happen. And the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Allen finding Shakir across the formation. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. From the 47, it's second and five. They'll try the middle with Cook. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's third and three. Here's Allen to throw it. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. Now this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. 
It all is time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. A partner that locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Back to the ground, caught. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now a second and six. Now Allen off the bootleg. Throw left side complete. That's Morris. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to have a third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They run it for the first time with the backup Murray. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They'll run for it. Cook. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. They'll run with Cook. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. And now they'll throw with Allen. Find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bills are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard they trail as we start quarter number four. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world you can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? From the 21, it's second and 10. Now here's Mahomes. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Von Miller picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Now back to throw. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Cook up the gut, and he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 37. 
The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Throwing on first down is Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? And running on first down is Cook, but he didn't find much there. Call it a gain of three, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 23, here's second down and seven. Again, it's Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Up the middle, it's Cook. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. A time to see what this offense has left in the tank. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quick slant to Watson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Mahomes throw complete there to Rice. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. This offense so far on third down, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This time it's third and three. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. They'll go. It's Edwards away. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth and short, they had the ball right at the midfield stripe. Was curious what they were going to do. Turns out going for it, the good play. Reminded me of a conversation we had yesterday before this game where you said, you know, it's interesting about the NFL nowadays. Oftentimes in short yardage situations, they throw the ball. In the old days, they would run it. That was an old school call right there. And that one drops down incomplete. 
Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. That one caught by Rice. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second down and eight. To throw, it's Mahomes. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. And it has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And this is the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. Time to ground it out now with Murray. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. to you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Allen. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. This defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. A give. This is Cook. 
The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Here's Hallett. That is caught. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 21. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.